Keep running. Apparently you can't run if you're looking backwards. Oh, he knows where you're at. Run, motherfucker! Don't you dare stop. Don't you dare stop. I can't stop. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Welcome. My name is Fazzy, and today we're going to be playing the Lancaster Leak. O'Brien State Park. I have no idea what the hell this is. I saw it. I want to play it. Really excited to get into it, so no further ado. Let's get right into it. Valerie Bardot. Leaving without a trace, she suddenly went missing at the end of her internship at Lancaster. Foul play is suspected. Well, I wouldn't blame them for suspecting that. So long as Valerie is missing, these tapes will continue to be leaked. We gave you a chance, and this will be your last. So what exactly am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to look for her? The information conveyed through this... Brief training tape, okay, prior investigation is interpreted. The agents refrain from viewing that this ma material unless they possess the appropriate clearance and are, okay, you have been warned. Gotcha. Any failure to comply with these directive will result in prosecution of fullest. Okay, so I'm assuming looking through these tapes, we're going to have to figure out where the hell she went. Entity present, what? Missing persons. Status resolved. There's no way it was resolved. Picture one. Previously inhabited by both Dakota and Ojibwe tribes, it is now home to year-round campers and hikers. The park, along with other state parks up north, has experienced an increase in animal-like attacks. Well, maybe I should read faster. On August 25th, 1988, Brady Kaufman, a 58 or 59-year-old male, visited O'Brien State Park unaccompanied. The subject's behavior during this visit was unusual as he intermediately started recording at various... Okay, subsequently, on August 26th, the subject has reported missing. His body was discovered on August 30th, and the rediscovered footage from his recording device will now be presented in chronological order accompanied by annotations. Boom. Oh, fuck that. I'm not reading that. Dude, this is blurry as hell. Wait a minute. The subject initiated recording. The reason for their sudden recording activity. What the hell? Are these fireflies? That's pretty cool. Okay, so the movement of the trees behind me makes the shadows trip me out like crazy so do I grab my stuff what do I do the hell is that is that a tree that is a tree subject will occasionally zoom on certain objects yeah but you know that hasn't really done me any justice Can I take this axe? Alright, you know, I'm just leaving. Screw this. Take the road. Let's get out of here, Jack. The subject turned right and went to the bathroom to shower. No, the hell I didn't. I turned left. Oh, I guess he did turn right because clearly I can't go left. The game doesn't want me to be defiant. Even though I like that freedom of choice, you know. You hear that? What is that? Is that a fire? Cause that's my fire that I'm just gonna leave there to burn. Is this somebody else? Jesus Christ, walking up to here is just kind of creepy. Who else is here? It's crazy. Wait, somebody else is here. So I'm not alone. 
Wait, what? What is wrong with this game? It is not going to let me go check out whoever else is here. I mean, it would make sense if it's kind of, you know, invading their privacy, but still. <laughs> God damn. You don't just pull it on a man. You could probably sleep in the car and you got to laugh out of that. Screw you. Oh my god. It's not my car. Okay, I guess they're just gonna do that again over there. So uh, there's a bunch of people camping out here. I mean, it, it makes sense to the occasional campers. Where the hell? Is it is a shower right there? Okay. So I'm not gonna be able to go forward anyways, even if I wanted to. So I might as well just go take a shower. Whoa, what happened? Whew. Is this the women's bathroom or this? Hello? Hello, Mr. Boogeyman. Who the hell? I would not go camping here anymore. I'm just saying. It's creepy as hell. Somebody's in there. Okay, I guess I'm going to shower now. The subject stops filming and then takes a shower. It is an estimated 10 minutes elapsed before the subject films again. The hell? Can't see. Oh. Alright, I feel clean. It's kind of creepy though. A lot of flies. Oh my god. Those shadows of the trees. Scaring the living crap out of me. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh. I'm tripping, man. Alright, so I took my shower. I can jump. So all I wait. So all I gotta do is go back to my campsite, right? What the hell's that? What's going on? It's kind of hard to like focus on whatever the hell's around me because it's all pixelated. Who the frick are you? Do I know you? Why are you here? Wait. Upon a return to the campsite, an unknown figure stands near the subject's tent. Neither campground re records nor witnesses recall seeing a white male of this profile. Why this person was here or who they are still remains unknown, but is not being actively pursued. The largest jump of times happens at this point with an estimate of one to two hours time elapse. You know, the recording presumes with the subject two miles in the hardwood hill loops. Why the subject started the hike is not relevant. Okay, well, I'm kind of worried about why that dude was there. Wait, am I going up? I am going up, aren't I? No, I'm not. I'm going down. Whew. I would be worried about why that dude was at my campsite. Probably trying to steal my car or something. Even though it didn't look like he was trying, but you know. Probably realized I was coming back, so he just stopped. What do I do? What is going on? Wait a minute. It's a lot of fireflies. Why is there a wind to go out here or something? How is that? Is that a building? Head on a swivel, guys. Hmm.
Is that a moose? Wait, what does that sound? Is that a caboose? I don't know. Really wish my dude would run. If I get chased down, I'm not even gonna know if I can run. And I'm just gonna let him kill me. I don't know why anybody does. Okay. I kind of suspected you were there. I mean, you're not a moose, but I suspected something was there. Alright. like all these fireflies. It just wasn't... I don't know if that's a building. Or is that just the sky? You know, my hands are sweaty. I am not nervous or anything. Is that a river? Hell yeah. Wait a minute. It's a little bridge. Well, somebody just either got massacred or they're just really pissed off. Alright. Gotta go figure out what we're doing. It's taking freaking forever. I don't plan on walking till I die. What is with. Ooh, I like this. I like the night sky, boys. Seriously, though. No way nothing's not following me. Hello? Ooh, that's a bright one. Hello? Oh, I heard that. Oh! <gasps> There's a sea steer was killed by entity. Whew. What the frick? Subject encountered the sea steer attacked by entity. The film abruptly ends after subject attacks entity in vicinity. Subject exhibits distress and flees off trail. Entity pursues subject and can be heard in proximity. Subject presumes filming approximately four minutes after pause. This marks the final pause. Oh my god. Is this where you... Is audible for the first time. Displaying emotions of fear. No shit, Sherlock. I would be terrifying, terrified too. I'd be pissing my pants. Oh, I can run. I don't know where the hell I'm running. Run! Oh, he's murdering them. Am I being chased by an elk? Keep running. Apparently you can't run if you're looking backwards. Oh, he knows where you're at. Run, mother mother! Don't you dare stop. Don't you dare stop. I can't stop. Holy crap. What the hell is that? The subject struck. What the hell is that? Why are you just standing there? Subject blood creeps in the frame. Jesus Christ. End of tape. Brady's Kaufman's death would be would occur over the next five minutes. The remaining footage has been cut short for viewer discretion. Additional entities can be heard and would later fight over the remains. Oh my god. 
Subject remains were found scattered. Most flesh was consumed. Little personal items remained intact. The public was told it was an abnormal bear attack. That was probably a skinwalker. Case re relevance. The subject's film was the first footage captured of S0012. Ultimately, the subject's footage provided the Bureau proof of extended funding and special operation to contain entities. This case marks the first. Okay, so. Yeah. That was a Wendigo. I was close. I thought Wendigos lived in um, cold places. Like snowy places or something like that. I don't know. Our creatures originated from Native American tribes of the Great Lake region. Oh, the malevolent supernatural being brings terror uh, to forest dwellers and our link to numerous. Okay, yeah, I had the wrong idea about them. According to recent intelligence, there has been a noticeable resurgence of the Wendigo and their geographical distribution has now expanded southward. There's more? In response to this emerging threat, the Bureau has established a joint task force in collaboration with the Canadian. Okay, so it is imperative to maintain strict operational security and keep the general public uninformed of these operations to prevent any unnecessary panic or interference. Well, I think that's it, you guys. Voice actor, there wasn't really much of a voice, but the story doesn't end here. Oh, Reddit. Okay. I work as secretary at a small FBI. A man in a pink poncho almost killed me. Consider joining the Discord or newsletter to, let the, to know the release of the next game. Okay. I gotta say. Let me guess. Alright. Well, if you guys enjoyed that as much as I did, don't forget to leave a like. Comment down below what you guys think. Um, yeah, you'll learn a little bit about Wendigos. I really thought that was a skinwalker, though. Because I thought Wendigos lived in like colder climates and they're like people who uh, suffered from starvation or something like that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. If you guys want to try this out, I'll leave the link in the description below and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Take care.